This is probably the most important year ever for us to be listening to these whales. We have the ability to collect something that never would have happened before. We've known for a very long time that the ocean is noisy. And we've known that the whales suffer because of the noise. But we've never been able to prove it. And now, I believe we will. When you put a hydrophone in the water and you listen to whales, it actually completes the picture of what's really happening. In order to understand whales, you have to listen. Bokaleb is a land-based whale research station on Hanson Island. Its method is uh, non-intrusive as a matter of philosophy, because although we're interested in whales, we don't want to interfere with their lives. So this summer is particularly significant for Orcalab, and I guess the rest of the world, um, due to the presence of coronavirus. We've received the news that um, there will be no cruise ships um, coming through this area for the whole of the summer. So this is actually what a cruise ship sounds like when it comes through our hydrophone network. It's a really unpleasant noise, and you can hear in there there's the constant static, and then there's the ch -ch 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 of the propeller. I always think when I'm listening to the headphones, when it gets really bad, like I can just simply take them off and I can have a little bit of a rest, but they don't have the option to do that. You know, if you think about how long whales have been communicating with each other in the ocean, and if you go back thousands of years, they evolved in this quiet ocean. And it's only in the last few hundred years where boat noise has increased, increased, increased globally. And that's not a, that doesn't give them enough time to adapt their behavior. With Big's orca, when they're foraging, when they're hunting, they're listening for the sounds of their prey. So when a vessel comes through and makes this noise, it actually impairs their ability to find food, which is extremely important. We are really excited about getting these hydrophones in the water right now. That's why this project is so important. There's no other time where suddenly you're going to have such a decrease in the amount of boats going through here. I can't wait to see how these whales react to this. So it all starts on land. So you're going to have to install your batteries and your solar panels because you need power. From there, you're going to have to go through an intertidal zone. And that cable is then going to be given to a group of divers because at the end of that cable is this hydrophone that is pretty sensitive material. And then these divers are going to take that hydrophone down. You're really connecting the land to the sea, which is what it's all about, so that us on the land can listen to whales. Once we have all these systems in place, we'll be able to compare from one site to another all the way up and down the coast. We'll have an ability to track whales through the area, take a look at habitat usage, whether you need to move shipping lanes in areas to help uh, mitigate sound impact on the whales. The downside is that we'll be collecting a massive amount of information. We'll be collecting about 183 terabytes a year for the whole coast. Um, and there's just not enough acousticians and bioacousticians on the planet to analyze all that data. So uh, we're, we're trying to put in automated uh, detection, uh, tracking and, and location software. I think that with the with this hydrophone network, with uh, an array of hydrophones where you can pinpoint the sources of sound, you may ultimately be able to answer that question, who's talking? And if you can get to who's talking, 
you might, I'm not promising, uh, be able to say, what are they saying? So do I get to listen to yeah. it now? Wow. Oh. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is amazing. That is a huge, huge difference. Yeah. It's so clear, no so crisp. Coming through. That is really beautiful. These, these are some of the best wow. hydrophone deployments that I've ever done in terms of being quiet. That ability for us to compare last year's data, this year's data, and then going forward into 2021 to see if there's an actual difference, it's a massive opportunity to really document how these whales will react to a quiet ocean in an area where it has it, it has historically been very noisy. If we can prove that whales prefer quiet oceans and the absence of noise, government regulators should pay attention and change the way in which they manage the oceans, and particularly shipping on the oceans. And with fingers crossed, if governments pay attention, things might get better for the whales.